How you doing people? Random here. So I thought today we'd go over the small format interchangeable core and in particular how to remove one that will not come out. I've had very few that will not come out. I had one in a big huge best that I had that was jammed and I was able to actually remove it without drilling it. But it does happen now and then. This one is a perfect example because it actually has something jammed in there. Somebody shoved a piece of metal in there and it broke off and no matter what I use I, I can't get it out so we're going to use this as a sacrifice. So what I'm getting at is say you had a nice beautiful lock that uh, you didn't have the keys for and you wanted to keep the lock but for some reason somebody's jammed the lock full of chewing gum or you know I don't know something evil that won't come out and you think well, well maybe I can just you know force the lock out. Well it's really impossible to force it out but it is possible to drill out the um, the one shear line. And if you drill out the upper, you will be able to basically turn this core into control position and remove it just like you would with the key. So we're gonna go to the shop. We're gonna use this arrow here. I'll show you this sucker. I got this from uh, my locksmith buddy Dave. It was in that junk bin that I uh, got bought off him. So we're gonna go to the shop. And we are going to stick this in the um, in the vise, and we'll set it up right here. And we're we're trying to basically do a quarter inch hole right about here. Now they do make jigs for this, which is basically a flat piece of steel with a five sixteenths hole in it, and two pins that will line up in the keyway. So when you put it over top, you really it's it's foolproof of where your drill bit goes. Um, I don't own one, or I would demo it and uh, I'm too cheap so we're gonna grab a center punch and eye it up and see what destruction we can cause. So uh, let me go set up and I'll see you shortly. How you doing people random here? So here we are in the shop. Now I got my drill set up. The uh, best drill they make. The Milwaukee uh, Fuel with a brushless motor in it. I love this freaking drill. Um, I got a couple of these for work. And this is my uh, my older one we replaced and I'll keep it in the shop. So we're gonna use this sucker to drill out this arrow lock here. I'd like to get a closer shot for you if I can, which is probably right about there as far as the camera will go. I wanna try to keep it away from the drill. My wife will be pissed if I break it. So we're gonna start with uh, this quarter inch drill bit here. And our whole goal is to drill right there, basically right above the plug. So if we drill right here, that should knock out those top pins and we should be able to whack out that core. So we're going to give it a shot and uh, hopefully we can do it in one take without having to add it together some stuff. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Now we don't want to hit the plug if we can help it and we're going to try our best to keep it straight. crunchy crunch that's good so that's pin two you can hear it every time it goes a hollow sound you've hit a different pin pin three pin four pin five check our depth we're probably two more pins to go well oh, sound on something try to clear that out a little bit there's pin six let's give that a shot we're gonna pull that out and see if that's actually gonna do anything you don't want to drill too far because you're gonna hit the cam We got pins falling out like no tomorrow. Okay, I think I've hit the 
stop them all. Let's get a tension wrench here and see if we can get this plug to turn. Might have to drill just a little more. Got one way, haven't got the other way. Okay, so let's give that another little smack. Make sure there's nothing caught in there. And are we caught on something? You can see one last chamber in there. We're gonna give it just a little more and try to get through that last chamber. Let's say you want to go nice and slow because if you go too far, uh, you could go right through the back of the lock and screw up everything. So slow and steady. Hit that last chamber, which I believe is the last chamber. You can always use something just to check the depth. I'm pretty far in there right now. I'm pretty sure I'm through all of them. I'll give it another whack again, get some more of this stuff out. Now normally if you had a, a good antique lock, you'd probably want to wrap the vise in something. If you were going to, well, I'll zoom back out again. If you were going to mess with it like that, you want to I try to get a screwdriver in there and see what we can get it to do, if I can find a screwdriver that'll fit inside that little keyway. Now, I might have to drill just a little bigger, so what we'll do is we'll change our drill size to one size bigger and see if we can get that to move. Because now and then, it'll jam up the, um, the shear line for control. So yeah, we gotta go a little bigger. And I'm gonna move down a little bit on this one. So I'm not too high. And get that, make sure I get that tighter. Once again, I can hear that going through. Okay. Whoa, holy man. We got stuff flying out now. Well, we just dropped another pin. I can really see the shear line now. So, what we can do is use an awl right here, which is just a point on it. The one on the first chamber. And you should be able to slide that thing sideways. It is moving. There we are. So, I'll do that for you again. If you take your awl, get in there nice and close. I don't know if you can see it in here, but I can actually stick my awl in the first chamber right there. So if you see that little piece right there, that is the locking. So I can slide it back to lock it, and I'll slide it forward to unlock it, so you gotta get in there good and tight. There you go. Your core slides right out. Okay, so we didn't break anything. We, we went slightly through the back of the core, but nothing there is part of your cam, which looks pretty uh, rusty, and I probably broke most of it. And we saved the body. The body's not completely destroyed. Oh, sorry, that's not the cam. That's, that's the whole the lock together. Cool. So there we go. That is the arrow. Um...
um, well, really, it'll work on best, it'll work on anything which is a small format interchangeable core. So you can see the pawl on the side, which is right here, which, in this particular lock, it's operated on, uh, it looks like pins three, four, and five. And this was a seven pin core. I still haven't figured out what was jammed inside, and it could have literally been this piece, um, which probably made it some type of uh, security key. I originally thought something was broken off inside. But either way, I got it for free, so uh, we didn't lose any money. And uh, thanks, uh, thanks for coming out and watching my vids. And don't forget, if you have a chance, you can go back to uh, vid 58 and enter yourself in the draw. I've actually thrown in a couple more things in there, but we'll make it for a surprise for draw date. But either way, take care and support your local locksmith.